Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about closures and decorators. I've already discussed about closures and decorators in Python tutorial. If at all you have not watched this video, please go and watch it because I'm not going to discuss much about it here. I'm going to give just a, a recap about what we have done already and I'm going to uh, tell you how to do the same closures and decorators with the help of class and objects. Okay, let, let us go ahead and start. Now I'm going to give the same example which I've already done uh, with the help of closures and decorators, right? So let me give the program for you. Now in this uh, program, I have a method called a string and I'm calling the method from here and I'm passing two strings, uh, Samuel and Edison that comes to S1 and S2 and I'm just going to return the uh, string with the statement, right? Hello string str1 and str2. So that's going to give me hello Samuel and Edison, right? So the task given to you is going to be, right, um, I want to convert this entire string to be in caps without uh, doing anything to this method, right. I should not touch this method, but without touching this, I want to uh, convert the entire string into caps. How will I do it? For that, I may need to write a separate program. So let us see how to do it. Here, I've written a separate code for that, right. Uh, I have a method called as closure function, and that's going to take any function as argument. And I have a, a inner method called as cap fun, and that's going to take uh, some n number of arguments. And I'm going to call the function. So, so let us see what's happening here. Now I cannot use this process. I need to do something else. And call the method. Before that, I may need to in import. I'll say from closure decorator import what's the function name closure function right? that's what I'm going to import here so let me say closure fun and I'm going to pass this method to that or I'm going to pass the function string here right so let me say pass string now here what happens the closure function is called which is here and I'm passing the function string to this place now fun will be holding string right and I have inner method here called a scap fun that is not touched now as of now so this is untouched now, it's just a function definition. So once this function comes here, like it returns the cap fun back to this place. So that will be stored in clo fun. So the cap fun is returned back to clo fun. And let me call the method from here, right? Uh, guys, I'm not much detail explaining about it because I've explained this everything in my previous video. Uh, on uh, closures and decorators. I've given the link in the description. Please go and watch it so that you can understand what's happening here, right? Okay, fine. So let me say clofun and I'm going to pass two strings, right? And let me enclose inside the print function. Okay, let me explain it again. So I'm calling the close closure fun and passing the uh, function string as argument here that will be stored in fun that will be there uh, and this method is untouched because it's just a function definition and from here i'm returning cap fun which comes back here and that will be stored in clove fun and from here i'm calling the clove fun that is in turn i'm calling the cap fun method right and i'm passing two strings samuel and edison that's getting stored in the argument args star args and from here I say return right return just forget about this written just consider this part alone so what I'm doing here I say fun star arg so when I say fun what is fun already uh, the function fun is holding string right so the, uh, it's for holding the string method so when I say fun this method will be called string will be called and it will be passed like what will be what is in star arg now star arg holds two things one is Samuel another one is Edison Okay, so now I say fun of star arcs. Now this method will be called and Samuel and Edison will be stored in str1 and str2. Now this statement will be returned back. This function is called and say hello Samuel and Edison will be returned to this place. Now in this place what will be there? It will be hello Samuel and Edison. So the entire thing will be returned back to this place because that is what I'm doing here with the written statement and I'm saying upper. So this entire statement will get converted to caps, right? 
and then I'll return back where to this place because this is where I'm calling the method, right? So this place will be returned with hello Samuel in Edison, right? So let me save this, this as well. Let me run this code for you. So you will be getting the entire thing in caps. Now this is what we call as closure function. So when I have one function within another function, and even though that function goes out of scope, the inner function remembers the out of functions argument. So that uh, process is called as closure. Okay. So now let us see how to do the same process with the help of class. Now, if I want to do with the help of class, let me create a class for you. I'll say class. Let me say my closure. Right. And then so here I have a method called as closure function and in a method called as cap fun. So this closure function is going to get replaced by a, a dunder method called as init. Right. And how many argument it takes? Fun. One. Right. So by default, any method, any uh, instance method will take one argument that is self. That is by default. You cannot change it. Right. It is must. And one more thing that is your fun. So everything is going to be same. Rough fun. And then from here, what I'm doing, I'm just returning. But here I'm not going to return because I have a, a, a instance variable. I'll say self dot f u n. So that can be used for the entire class and say fun, right? I'm not going to return anything. I'll say self fun assign fun. If you want to make some difference, let me put an underscore here. So this fun, the uh, method which I'm going to pass from here, that's going to get stored in fun, right? And then for this inner method, what I'm doing here is that which I'm converting into caps so that I'm going to use a, another dunder method called this underscore underscore call underscore underscore. This also you don't need to call it. That will get called explicitly, right? Sorry, implicitly. I'm sorry. And then the same process return fun of upper, right? And this will not be required for me anymore because that's a normal process. So let me say, how will I do it? I'll say closure object and then say assign I'm going to call init method right so init method how the init method will be called whenever the object is created init method will be called automatically right so let me try to import it I'll say from deco input my closure right so now when this happens close uh, when I create an object right when I create an object immediately init method will be called right so after calling the init method, uh, right, it is taking one as the object, right? This is the clo object that will go automatically to self and fun. I may need to pass it. How will I pass? I'll say string. So what's happening? I'm creating an object and I'm passing the method string to my init method, right? So self will take, I'll put it here for you. Self is going to take the object obj and your fun right it's going to take string the method what i'm passing from here right so it takes two argument my init method here takes two argument one is the normal self that is going to hold the uh, current object and fun that is going to hold the uh, method that i'm passing from here so i'm passing string string will come into and store in fun now what i'm doing so that fun is getting stored inside the instance variable right so everything what we do like we want to use it for the entire class we'll make it that we'll, we'll store that as an instance variable because this will be a local variable which cannot be used uh, outside the method okay okay let how, let me let us see like how to call this call method right so this will get called automatically when i call the object like this okay so instead of function i'm going to say obj so when i say obj like class obj right and whenever I pass some argument to the object directly, this call method will be called, right? The init, the call dunder method will be called. So whenever I pass something to the object directly, right? So when I do that, immediately the call init method will be called automatically, right? And what's, what's happening here? The Samuel and Edison will get passed to star arts and that will be stored here, right? And then I say return upper, right? Return fun. FUN, F, what is FUN? FUN is storing string. So it will call the string method and then do it here and then the entire thing will be passed back to my call method. So what will be there in this part of fun? So fun will be holding this FUN, say fun of star arcs will call the string method, will store str1 and str2 as Samuel and Edison and returns the 
a processed string back here and that will be placed here in this place and then say dot upper so when i say dot upper it will be like this so it will be like the entire string dot upper so this entire string will get converted to caps and will be returned back and then you can see that it's getting printed here with the help of printf statement okay let me run this code for you now you can see oops let's say name if you and not defined okay there's some so which mistake i did is that as usual what we do is that we forget to make use the self right so i'll say self of fun so when i say self fun it means that the instance variable right fun right so fun and then that that is getting that is already storing string method okay so i made a just a small mistake for self dot underscore fun now this will work properly right so let me run this code for you you can see one more thing i missed here is self every method will be having self right that is must right okay now you got it right so hello samuel and edison let me clear the screen for you and run it again for you right so it's it's giving you the caps data okay got it guys any doubt here okay now let us see how to do the same process with the help of decorator because like when i say closure i'll be changing the function call what is the actual function call now this is the actual function call but i'm changing it right so for closure function i've changed like this and for clo for uh, closure uh, in in the class i have changed like this right so this is not also not required for me so let me comment this out this is not required for me now let me uncomment this if i want to do the same process one simple thing right so instead of these two lines the whatever these two lines do i'm going to do with the help of just a decorator i'll say closure underscore f even and here also i'll just include closure fun right so when i include this decorator before any function so whenever the function call happens whatever is happening here it will happen here right so when i say um, this function right string right is getting called it will come here this will get first hit close closure fun so what will happen it will immediately call this closure fun function and pass string as argument to fun return back and then call this so whatever i am doing with these two lines will happen with this help of one single line so let me save this and run it for you we'll get the same output right so whatever i did i'm getting the same output right where is the same old method the same old function i'm not doing anything to it i'm just changing only one process that i'm including a decorator before the method which i'm going to call right so instead of these two lines is getting replaced now if i want to do the same process with the help of a decorator class let me comment this and and comment the same process no change same code right i'm not changing any code i'm using the same code right so instead of these two lines i'm going to just say before that let me include i'll say my closure and here i'll say my closure right so when this method is called when string is called it goes here and then you can see my closure decorator so immediately this process will happen this uh, th this one single line doing the work of these two lines right so you're getting hello samuel and edison in caps this is called as decorator right if you want you can say decorator right i'll say decorator that's it let me run this code for you can you see that yeah hello samuel and edison right you understood guys this is how i create a decorator on my own right if you have any doubts or queries please uh, comment in the comment section i'll uh, definitely get back to you and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you very much